and your wife Ampuma to join me to say thank you to this very special woman here who happens to be my wife for being such a caring and selfless being. Your thanks. She'd rather go to her. May God bless you, Sophia. Thank you. As Pastor Joe says, is our success. Congratulations. God bless you, Sophia. God bless you. Thank you, Sophia. We thank God for all of us. Thank you. Thank you, God bless you too. Thank you. We thank God for all of us. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Let us thank God for giving us life to live. May God bless you for being a caring mother. Thank you. I thank God for your life. I pray that he blesses you so you live long to be my greatest companion. <laughs> thank you, Sophia. Thank you. Sophia. Sophia. Yes, Pacha. You are an extraordinary person. <laughs> you have made my world and life worth living. So have you, Pacha. Without you, I wouldn't have learned of a man's true love and devotion to family. You are truly a man of God someone can always count on. God bless you, Pa. <laughs> but I have a problem. What can I do to show you how much I appreciate all the good things you have done and continue to do? Let's just thank God for his continued grace upon our life. <laughs> So far, I want to build you a house and name it Sophia. It will be your house and nobody else's. That is how I want the world to remember this special woman. It's very kind of you, Pa. But I thought what belongs to you belongs to us. It's another woman coming. Oh, oh nonsense. I would have done so long ago. What you're proposing scares me. It sounds like compensation. You stupid woman. But seriously, I feel like doing something unusual for this very special person in my life. Uh, you're scaring me. I'm sorry if I made you feel so. I didn't mean to. I haven't seen Joey and family for quite a while. I'd like to pay a quick day return visit to Sekendi coming Saturday. I think you should. I miss them too. So far. You're too much. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast is enough. Why the canteen? You never can tell. Maybe there'll be delays on the way and you may get hungry. 
Must I forever remain your baby? Must I forever remain your beloved daughter? <laughs> early yesterday to go and visit the men's house at Sekendi. He promised to come back before nightfall. He has not returned. <laughs> so far, I am sure the men's house will insist he spends the night. You know how close they are. He took no clothes with him. They will find him whatever he needs to make him comfortable. Here is a special announcement. A commercial passenger vehicle traveling from Sekendi to Nkoko was involved in an accident at the Apiga Junction near Chibi. Thirteen passengers lost their lives, while 12 who were critically injured have been admitted at the Chibi Government Hospital. Relatives whose loved ones may have traveled that route are requested to go to the Chibi Government Hospital mortuary and the wards to identify their relatives. This is the end of the special announcement. So far, it does not mean Pajo is involved. I don't know. I don't know. All right, I'll suggest we go to Second Nick quickly to check up with the main suspects. So far, where is Paju? We thought he was with you. This is Mr. Kofi Anson, Paju's brother-in-law, and I'm Puma, Paju's sister. Please sit down. He was with us yesterday, but he left before too. No. This cannot be. I don't understand. He did not return yesterday. And before we left in Gokho, there was a radio announcement about an accident that involved death and injury. It also said the death and the injured were to be found at Chebi Hospital. Hmm. I hope not. Hmm. We'll get ready and accompany you to Chibi. <laughs> 